Another week in the Evil Uno vlog. We are back on the road in Jacksonville, Florida. And back to where we did most of our pandemic wrestling. And there's a lot of bittersweet memories here, kind of a great day to be back, but also kind of a sad day to be back. But uh, we are overall very excited to be here. Uh, Tuesday night right now, and we are heading off to AEW Dark. We are doing a AEW Dark taping tonight, just before we do Dynamite and Rampage tomorrow in Daly's place of Jacksonville. What am I gonna do tonight and tomorrow? I have no idea. So I'm really going to try and uh, uh, bring some people in and have some conversations, talk a little bit about uh, Daly's place if we can, and uh, see what else uh, our friends are up to this week. So let's go to Daly's play. Cutler, how you doing? Hey, I'm great. Hey, you're on uh, my vlog this time, oh, not, instead of the opposite, which we have spent uh, the last <laughs> three years working on together. Um, kind of crazy come back to Daily Space, right? It is, it is. It's surreal. It's, yeah. Uh... I've had memories in almost every room here. Yeah. I will say I do not miss a lot of like the walking around that is involved. Yeah, you got your guys' locker room, the male locker room. Very is far. So far. Super far. Yeah, it's like, it's probably a mile a walk. walk. Yeah. Did, it, it, did, close to did it. Did they give you the golf carts? Like, no, nope, not this time. Uh, we not used this to have time. golf carts that let us drive around. No, I, I think they probably uh, revoked those. Uh, because uh, I'm pretty sure well, we Sammy, might have broken Sammy one. Sammy kept getting hit by them. So. That is true. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, um, I'm sure at least Jungle Boy, not to throw him under the bus, may not have driven. Under the cart. Ooh, hey. hey. <laughs> may have driven uh, way too fast beyond uh, belief. Ah. But, <laughs> and as such is life. Um, I usually talk video games here on these I YouTubes. I love video games. Yes, I know you do. You actually Twitch stream? Uh, stream Twitch on the Twitch in. Twitch.tv. <laughs> slash Brand Cutler. Brand Cutler. Yeah. Why don't you go full Brandon Cutler? Uh, I think when I was getting back into wrestling, some, I used to have that back in like the PWG, my PWG era, like mm -hmm. 2009 through 11. And then I was going to change my name back to that and it was taken. And so I was all, all right, let me see if Brand Cut was taken. And it wasn't. And so then I was like, all right, well, I kind of want my name across the board to be the same. So I never have to say of like, oh, on this, on Instagram, on this, on Twitter, on this, on Twitter. Just kept it consistent and so from there. And so Brent Cutler was like, oh, it's available on everything. So I just took it. Something that you actually mentioned. We actually missed each other in PWG. Yeah. I actually think a big reason why I got my first opportunity there is that you guys weren't there anymore. And you, there was only like three tag teams I mean, at the time. I think Because you I ended up wrestling the Bucks. Right? Yeah, because I think and, like uh, a show Lucha's. or two after we were gone, you guys came. Yeah, we were there September two, yeah. 2011. And I was like, man. We could have been, that could have been a whole, kind of like how the tag teams are here. <laughs> exactly. Stack tag division. Yeah, come back around a, a whole decade later and do it again. Yeah, um, yeah. What games are you playing right now? Because I, I know you're a big Sea of Thieves Easily guy. Easily Sea of Thieves. Mm. I've put the most hours in, and I've just recently got back into it when that Pirate's Life thing uh, came on. Mm -hmm. um, I've always been into it, but like I tell the people on my stream, I would stream for like an hour and a half or two hours, and then I'd get off stream, and me and my wife would go play this for hours. Cause I was like, nobody wants to watch me play that for hours. For like five hours straight. Yeah. yeah. And then I started just doing that. I'd be like, all right guys, I'm going to stream this and see how it goes. And so I stream now for like four or five hours and everyone's like, oh yeah, you used to only stream two hours. I'm like, well, that's because I would get off to go play this. Now I'm not getting off. I'm you just, might as well, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gaming through my whole night. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you're the same way, but the reason I started streaming was that I would at least feel like I was doing something productive while I was gaming. Yeah, yeah. And so if I'm going to game four or five hours, I might as well do it in front of a camera. Yeah, that's how I, yeah, yeah, it's a good reason to do it. And then it also feels, at least that's when I was uh, doing the other games, is it was a great way for me to like try other stuff because yeah. I'm very very much uh, if i like something i'll do it all day forever every day. yeah yeah i don't switch what i like uh, i eat the same foods every day i do all the same habits every day so I, i'm a creature of habit and so twitch was for me of like a way of like oh i've never tried that game i'll do try it and break it a little yeah. bit right? and then now i'm just pure cfes uh, mm -hmm. i mean i do kind of play some other stuff yeah you're actually mentioning uh I, 
Just, Dead by Daylight? Yeah, I just got hooked on that, played a, a night with the Colts and some of our subs, and now I'm playing it in the middle of the day because I'm like, well, I don't want to get a couple rounds in. Are you hiding it from your kids? <laughs> yeah, they don't yeah. really watch. Yeah, I was uh, going to say, it's that. pretty, yeah, it's yeah. pretty uh, bloody and uh, oh, yeah, a lot, a of, lot of I gore. mean, I'm afraid of it. I don't want my kids watching that. I don't. I turn away on some of that stuff on there. I've yet to mm-hmm. play it. So really? like, I always, uh, so like Jack ah. Evans has tried to pull me into it. Uh, Colt Cabana has tried to pull Dang. me into it. It just hasn't been something I, I got pulled into. Or anytime they want to play this like a five-player game, and to and be there's... two of us is not yeah. always the best, yeah. I guess. They would keep asking me to, and because I knew what it was, I was like, I don't like horror. I don't do yeah. horror. I don't want to do it. Uh, I'd see the bunny was always doing it and Sweets Live and, you know, Dilly and them. But I was always like, oh, yeah, they're cool. That's their thing. I'll let them have it. I don't want to do it. And then now that I've tried it, I'm like, all right, it's kind of funny. It's really not that terrifying, terrifying. It's not no, like a, it is. Not, it's not proper terrible. horror. It's not proper well, horror. Well, I mean, game, maybe to someone that's used to that stuff. To me, I'm still, <laughs> there's a couple of characters on the killers that I'm I'm still so afraid of. Oh, yeah, I you just don't want to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope, I can't do it. Did you play Killer and I Survivor? Did, on one of the streams, I played as a killer mm-hmm. and I dominated. Oh, I'm hell yeah. Really, I'm a murder hobo. I'm I heard that's where really the fun good. is. That's where the fun is. I it heard. is, but I'm also, I don't want to be the killer. I like being the, the survivor mm-hmm. and running. I don't want to just run around and kill the so guy. So you don't, you don't hate being scared. You kind of... No, I, I don't yeah. like being scared. I don't, I just, I'm not going to go see horror movies. I'm not going to really play. When, when some of the characters, when some of the killers are on there, I'm still scared and I'm like, nope, run, run. But I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't want to. We're so vastly different because I like try to seek things that terrify oh, me. No. I love I, it. There was one game I think I dodged. I think it was one of the games I played offline just by myself. I dodged the killer almost the whole game, and I loved it. That was one of the best games I felt. <laughs> because you never had to, never I have to, to encounter it. the killer, yeah. <laughs> I hate the killers on some of these. <laughs> Well, uh, well, that's it, uh, Color, and we can find you obviously on, on Twitch, on everything, uh, Twitch, can... Twitter, Instagram, Cameo. Obviously, oh, watch yeah. BTE as well. You can see yeah, a lot yeah. of uh, of your work there. And scenes footage. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see you every single week for the next the rest of uh, our lives. Cause probably, oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, have a good one, man. <laughs> here we go, Stuka Racing here with a vlog exception, a vlog inside a vlog. And it's time for a gym discovery with Stu, except it is not actually a gym discovery because we are back in Jacksonville. <laughs> no, 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 not Jacksonville. God, no, God, no, no. Super happy to be back in Jacksonville. Uh, but like I said, we've been here before a lot. So I know that gym, I know that gym really well, and it's actually another pretty good gym. So I'm trying to find a bad one, but it's not going well for me. This gym is pretty dope. So today is chest and tricep, so push day again. Let's go. Time to pass judgment on that Jacksonville Hotel gym. I am giving it a three and a half stew out of five. Could have been a four, but here's a few things I do not like about this gym. There is not enough mirrors. There is too many treadmill and only two, maybe three elliptical and two of them were broken. Other than that, that gym is actually pretty good. You can do a full body workout, no problems. There's a lot of space. Overall, it's a solid gym. But sadly, those little details took away half of us too. That being said, back to you, Uno, with your vloggy stuff and whatever. Last night's dark was fantastic. I uh, did not. Uh, well, you'll get to see a match the next week around that I've filmed. Some really great stuff, some debuts from some people. Jake Atlas, now all elite. But tonight, is Dynamite and Rampage. So right back to Daly's place we go.
Luther. I, I want to do that. You want to do that? Okay. All right. Look. Oh, beautiful. Wow, you are a professional. You're a prof oh, wait, wait a second. I just realized, last time I had you on, we talked about how you guys are going to start your own Chaos Project vlog. But we, I started filming some stuff, and then I didn't, we didn't really get around. Yeah. To we didn't correspond, but I've been working on my other shows. So. Yes, yeah, so we, we were talking about that uh, uh, privately uh, earlier, yes. Luther's World of, which you can oh. find on YouTube right now at this link that I will right display there. right here. here. Look at that. Right beautiful. Oh, maybe up here. Maybe, Maybe right across. Like a big rainbow over here. Maybe uh, my editor's gonna kill us right up here. Yeah, we're we're. Sorry, um, editor. Yeah, I'm sorry, Patrick. You're gonna really enjoy this Patrick, one. Patrick, sorry. <laughs> um, um, so you, you you do all kinds of stuff on the, the Luther's, Luther's World. World. I've been working on a new one. It hasn't come out yet because I'm still working mm -hmm. on it. Um, I've tried to get a couple different things. World of Serial Killers, Ooh. and I have my old one. Cryptids, Ghost, and B, mm -hmm. unexplained. And you also have your Haunted House uh, well, stuff as well? Or, or Haunted House hotel, used to be right. part of Luther's World of mm -hmm. Cryptids, Ghost, and Explained, but I might, I've been thinking about bringing it out as its own mm -hmm. its own thing too. So maybe we'll get like three shows going on the same channel. Uh, this smart. This one. Smart. The this one right here, or yes. maybe an upside down crescent. Oh, a happy face. Yeah. <laughs> With do add the little yes. eyes, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. So we're like the eyes. We're Oh, yeah, actually. We're yeah. the eyes. Dr. Luther's. There you go. Perfect. Always thinking. Oh, uh, man. We're, uh, this is this is how it's done. You know, this is how you promote things. Brains. You know, brains. Two brains together brains. equal one bigger brain, I think. Two Canadian brains. It's true. It's true. The smartest beings on the planet true. is what I was and told. pretty damn good looking. We are. We are. Uh, people tell me all the time, you're a gorgeous man. You are, look at the teeth. Man. I know. They're... Pearly whites, white. pearly whites. Yeah. Uh, we both have uh, these those Canadian eyes. You know they've they've been in the cold. Sultry. Mm, mm, mm. We actually get mistaken for each other. Quite it's true. A bit. Quite often, we're we're, we're essentially twins. We're like kind of are like twins. We are kind of like twins. We we also At the speak airport, very. Sometimes I get mistaken. I'm like I'm not Nuno. Really? And then they're like, oh, you're, you're Luther from Kiss Project after is like, yeah. yeah. I've never, no one's ever come up to me and thought I was Luther. I will be honest with you. But no one ever comes to talk to me at an airport, ever, other than Stu, which. But I'm like, how would, why would you think that I'm you? Because I don't have a mask on unless they. I mean, I think they, they, they just go on general build and they're like, oh, he's, he's a big hulking man. Handsome, he's a, hulking, handsome Big gentleman. handsome arms and beautiful eyes. You know, they know they know the eyes, so they probably sultry. see yours and they're like, "That's sultry. those sultry eyes are definitely him. Because mine are only bloodshot when I'm about to go to war. Oh, mine are very rarely bloodshot. I, I take good care of my eyes. I, and I drop as much as I can. Drink a lot of water. Definitely drink a lot of water out there if, if you are watching this, which wow. you are because how would you see this otherwise? Unless plus you're Patrick. Plus it's good for the skin. It is. It is very, very good for the skin. All right, let's look You know what's this. not good for the skin? What is that? Getting no sleep because you have to travel so far. It's true. I actually, uh, we're talking at the uh, at our hotel post Dynamite and Rampage. It is, uh, is it's like midnight right now? Just a little after. I have a 6 a.m. flight. We have a little New Year's shindig. Correct, correct. We are going to be uh, celebrating the new year because this is uh, this is uh, my new year vlog, but also New Year's is literally around the corner for us. Do you have Today's any big plans for you? Um, I'm probably just going to stay in because I got two little doggies mm. and my little pup Mason, the original death dog. Yeah. He had heard some fireworks at Christmas time and was not really good with it. He's been stressed for a bit. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just going to stay home and make sure he's hey, that's, taken care of. I'm doing the same reason, but for totally selfish things, I'm going to do, stay home with Miss Zuno and do absolutely nothing. But you're you're going to gonna make sure she's okay with the fireworks. Exactly. And yeah. on top of that, also, we spent so much time. Uh, I don't get to be home a whole lot. And so uh, through the holidays, we spent it with our family the whole time. That's awesome. And now we just want to do the opposite and just be lazy for Chill. two, three days. Yes. I just, There's it, nothing wrong. Especially sometimes you got to recharge the batteries, you know? After like 10 or 12 hours of traveling to get home That's to it. see her. That's right. Mrs. Uno, 6 a.m. flight, a four-hour layover, then another flight. So that's two, a, a three-hour flight, then a two-hour flight. And then I have a two-and-a-half-hour drive home. So it's, it's a long travel day. And not to mention... That 6 a.m. flight, I have to take a 4 a.m. shuttle. So I'm only, uh, in four yeah. hours, I'm going to have to leave this Whoa. building. And he's doing that just to see you. Just to see you, Mrs. Uno. Also because I live in the same house <laughs> as you. <laughs> and I do have to go back and sleep somewhere. 
No, no, she knows, she knows. Well, F it, we were gonna talk movies, but the, uh, I know you watched Spider-Man and Matrix. I saw the new Spider-Man, loved it. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. I, I thought it was awesome. It. Yeah, I love, all, I love all this, the Spider-Man. Yeah, I don't I wanna like, spoil anything, but man, there was, there was so many moments where I like, I didn't say all the shit out loud, but I was looking around like, and the best thing for me, like actually when I, I didn't know, I didn't read anything about it. So Same. I went in, Same. so it was like great. I'm actually trying to do that for the Batman as well. Like oh, there's a yeah. new trailer right now. Yeah. I don't need to know anymore. I'm gonna watch the know. movie. Yeah, me too. I don't watch it. I hate how movies nowadays, they'll take one trailer that's a teaser and then the second trailer for any movie will just literally tell you the full plot oh, of the movie. I hate when they do that. It. It's like, I don't need to see it now. No, I yeah. Saw the cool, you gave cool me two and a half minute summary yeah. of everything. So why, you and showed they, me the twist. Yeah. I remember there was this uh, Terminator trailer for Terminator, oh my god, Genesis, I believe, where they literally tell you the twist that happens an hour into the movie in the trailer. So they have so man. pretty much the money shot for the trailer. I know, it's oh, the worst. Done. It's the worst. Done. It's the worst. It. I can just watch the trailer a couple times. I'm it's good. true. And now you're also, you told me notes. you were watching, uh, re watching Dexter. I started back because the De Dexter that new came series out, the new coming out, yeah. Season. I think it's season 10, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. So I haven't watched it. Um, it's a Luther's. Oh wait, have yeah. you never watched Dexter before at all? So I watched the first season. Okay. And so I went back and I started watching it again. So I'm up to season three now. Because mm -hmm. I don't want, I just want it blitzing through it all. So basically when I'm home and I'm not having to train at the Nightmare Factory or working out, that's... You try to put in trying to a watch few hours. Dexter, yeah. I watch most of my TV on a plane, to be honest. Just because I spend oh. so much time in an airport, I might as well. Like I know tomorrow my plan is they are dropping a documentary uh, tonight. Uh, well, first of all, I have a Sesame Street uh, documentary that oh, I'm going to end up watching. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, uh, that. on HBO. And then there's a Super Dave. Uh, oh, a Super Dave Oswald? Yeah, oh, they well, dropped it tonight. So I used I'm to love Bizarre. You ever watch Bizarre or you were probably too little? That's Bizarre? where he started. It was a Canadian comedy series sort of thing. That I was pretty young when it came out, but that's where Super Dave started. Oh no, I don't think I have TV seen that. show Bizarre. Oh. There you go, a little bit of- Well, there you go. Super Maybe Dave. I'll check that out too. I, I was a big Super Dave Osborne fan. Like yeah. his, his actual- With genuine Saskatchewan seal skin bindings. <laughs> that was his big stick. It, I, man, I, I thought that was the most, when I was a kid, obviously, even nowadays, I think it's pretty genius of a, of a show, but just how the first half is played super seriously about how death defying his trick is. And then the last half of the bit is always complete lunacy and you're yeah. just supposed to complete gone the wrong way. Oh yeah, it's it's I love it. It's and kind of a chaos project. Thing. I know. You guys could totally be Super Dave of yeah. wrestling. Well I kinda we're a little bit of the kind of well, there's only two of us, but kind of three stooges a bit of wrestling. Yeah, I I do a lot of three stooges That's why I do a lot of the yelling because you know, they used to kind of talk high pitched. Uh, yeah. Mo did, yeah. I know oh, Mo was low, Curly. actually. Larry, Larry and Curly. Yeah, Curly used to yeah. kind of be high pitched. Yeah. Well, um, of course, the ball guy. So, yeah, I'm back watching Dexter. It's awesome. I really like it because, you know, I'm a little bit demented like that. I, and I it gets to crazy. Because when gets you were crazy. talking about, I'm totally all over the place. Oh, right no now, worries. You got me in Sesame Street growing up in Canada. Yes. Canadian. When I grew up, my favorite show was Mr. Dress Up. Oh, Mr. Dress Up, I watched a whole lot too. And there was a French version called uh, Passepartout, which was a similar situation, which was like little puppets okay. with, with a human host as well. So they just took it and made it. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of like uh, puppet shows around that time okay. were very similar. But uh, no, I watched both of those uh, as a I love Mr. kid. Dress up. Uh, me too. I, I was a fan when I was young. Honestly, I never thought about it until now, but I have a fascination with puppets and it might actually start because all, all of us Canadian kids like grew up watching grew puppet up, shows. I'm a little bit older than you. Mm -hmm. I grew up on Friendly Giant. I don't know if he was I don't think I know that one. Okay, so Friendly Giant, Mr. Dress Up, and Sesame Street when I was a little kid. Well, of shoot. course. And I didn't know, because we used to get, I, I, I don't know if you watched the, did, was there a French version of the Sesame Street? Uh, no, no, there okay, was not. Okay, because, but then when we grew up, it was English with French on it. Like, that's where I learned to speak a little bit of French. Really? Oh, like, they, they included Spanish yeah, within have a the show. Yeah, they French on there. And in the American Sesame Street, it's Spanish. They have little hmm. Spanish stuff on there. That does make sense, actually. Yeah. yeah. So, and I didn't know that. I saw a little thing. I was like, oh, that's really cool. So there's like kind of a Canadian. I was also super into the Muppets as well. And for, the Muppets, for, yeah. yeah. The Muppet uh, Show. All the Jim Benson stuff, Labyrinth. Uh, I've always loved the Puppets, to be so honest. So I filmed a wrestling show, WRP, with Kenny Omega was on it. Uh, Psycho Cage. Mike, my friend, right? Psycho yes, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I mean, him got along really good. Great. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a sweetheart. Hey, Psycho he's Mike, shout out to you. Shout out to you, Mike. You you're are awesome. you're one of the best, man. Yeah, you were great on that filming. By Fellow the way. Canadian. And I, 
super guy. But we filmed at the Jim Henson Studios. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it was there. Yeah, it was really cool. So, That's cool. Yeah. Shoot. Hey, I, I assume you know this. You're in Atlanta now. There's a puppetry museum in Atlanta. I did not know the that. The Puppetry Museum. All of John oh, Benson's yeah. puppets are out there. Versions of Kermit. There was uh, uh, the Muppets from um, the Treasure Island. There's a ton oh. of the, the villains in there. Well, now I know where I'm going. You should definitely go. It was a uh, last time I went to Atlanta, which was like a month and a half ago. That's where I ended up going for the oh. most time. Yeah. So the only place that Atlanta I've really gone to is the Coca-Cola Museum. I've been to that too, yeah. Which was, it was pretty it's cool. It's cool. I mean, I like trying all the different Cokes. That was cool yeah. from around the world, all the different yeah. stuff. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So, and I want to go to the aquarium because I want to take Miss Luther there. You can do diving with the sharks. So you can actually- You do that in the aquarium? Yeah, so you can dive down within the shark oh. tank with the sharks. You, well, hey, I know we were talking about what, doing a haunted house, but let's do that. do that. I'll definitely do okay. that. Okay. All right, awesome. when we do Atlanta, we're definitely doing that as well. Diving with sharks. Perfect. That'll I think be, that's that's a perfect note to end on. That'll be our next vlog with me on here. Diving with sharks. You can see it on the, the Luther world of um, one of us may die yeah, it's honestly yes yeah you, we could either drown or get eaten by a shark or both or both i mean yeah probably simultaneously or one after anyway this is too much thought and to my own it's death. gonna be awesome we'll see you then bye back home from jacksonville mrs Zuno is sleeping big week it was, it was really awesome to go back to Daly's place. It was very bittersweet to get to see all the rooms that we spent our time in before, but it was also kind of like refreshing to know that we'll be going back on the road afterwards. Excited to be home though. I get a full weekend at home, which is unheard of in the last couple months. Very excited to just spend some time and relax. Uh, I got to do a little bit of that during the holidays and I'm hoping I'll get to do more of that today too. But hey, we're off to uh, Newark next week. That's right. Join the Evil Uno vlog next week. Hit that subscription button down below so you can find out when it is uploaded. It will likely be Friday next week. It is always Friday. And then the week after that, we are in Raleigh, North Carolina. Do join us there if you'd like to send me anything you can at the P.O. Box up above here. Thank you, Editor Patrick. I will nod my way out and I will see you on the next vlog. Bye-bye.